So this is the Flying Dutchman puzzle by Benno de Grote, and I always fear that I'm saying his name wrong, by uh, the, the gentleman that is the designer behind Benno Boxes, and you can find his stuff at bennoboxes.com. And this is his latest puzzle. Uh, we solved his windmill puzzle before, and it was a lot of fun. This is even bigger, and dare say it, more beautiful. Uh, as you can see, it's almost hard to see that it's a puzzle versus just a piece of art, which is good because it has a price tag of around 1500 US dollars, which is no joke when it comes to a puzzle. It's probably one of the most expensive puzzles I've bought personally, at least brand new. So today we're gonna find out if this is a great puzzle or not rather than just a wonderful, beautiful piece of art. But to do that, we're gonna have to solve this sucker, so that means that after the title, there will be spoilers. You have been warned. So this puzzle is made of mostly wood. It looks like laser cut wood, which is not surprising as that is what he makes pretty much all of his puzzles. There's also some acrylic elements. As you can see here, there's some, there's like a little steering, there are little steering wheels. There's an anchor here. They're all held on by magnets. And there's a little port looking thing here, which is also held on by magnets. And then there's some sails. Now the sails aren't made of wood. They're made of, it looks like faux leather and they're kind of made to where they, they look like they're billowing. Those, however, uh, do come out, and I believe we will read the instructions, but it says remove mast and bowsprit before solving. <laughs> I'm not sure what a bowsprit is, but maybe I'll look it up. Oh, this must be the bowsprit here. All right, so let's get into solving this sucker. Really, right off the bat, you can see here, it says the Flying Dutchman on the side here. So there's this little stand here that is actually ma magnetic. And if you shake it, you can hear, let's see, I'm gonna sit that there. You can actually hear something in there. And there's actually a little bit of text here that I'll read in a second. So let me put this right here. And then we can see on the side here, it says rules. Let's see if I can make that visible. Okay, no excessive shaking, no excessive prying, no banging, no mutiny, <laughs> very funny. Don't use the acrylic figures as tools and remove masts and bowsprit before solving. And I believe this is the bowsprit here. I believe this is the bowsprit here. All right, so if we look at the other side, the Flying Dutchman, nothing on those sides. And so let's read this little tale here. There once was a pirate ship feared beyond all others. It was called the Flying Dutchman. The captain and his crew sailed the seven seas on their ship, plundering everyone they encountered. But one day they went too far. They stole from a mighty sorcerer who in turn cursed them all. They were doomed to sail the seven seas forever without leaving their ship. The sorcerer hid a secret map to the cure deep inside the Flying Dutchman, but the captain and his crew were never able to find it. For hundreds of years, the Flying Dutchman sailed the seven seas until they found you on a deserted island. I guess that means me, and I guess you guys now. Uh, they are prepared to help you, but only if you can break their curse. All right, and so one last thing that we see on this, uh, on this stand is this on the bottom where these actually turn here. They look like little Florida Lee over compass stars. So basically that's probably the pointer there for north or whatever. And then there's little symbols here. So we got a little barrel, a little cannon, a sword, a map, a steering wheel, a compass, a parrot, a bomb, a candle, a flag, a treasure chest, a hook, a bottle of rum. So they're all kind of pirate themed stuff and they're both the same uh, top and bottom here. And then there's a little notch there it looks like. So it looks like maybe a tool uh, would go into there to help open that. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bow sprit or what he called it and pull that out and see whether if I stick that in there. Okay, that might be able to be a tool for that, so I'm gonna stick that there. So, we now need to find out how to solve this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sails out. All right. 
and I don't believe those are tools now. Let's take a look around the boat. Let's move this aside now. Let's see, on the bottom here, we can see there is a hole there. Not sure what that does yet. There's a bunch of magnets, but these are um, what holds them onto the, the, the stand there, so I'm not sure if that does anything either. Uh, the back here says The Flying Dutchman by Benno de Grote, number seven. That must mean that this is the seventh puzzle. I believe he just started selling these, and so I was lucky enough to get one of the first ones. And then we have little details on here. Oh, look at that. So I just noticed there's like a little cog right there. Can you see that? So you can actually move this like a little steering wheel, actually, like a little cog. And so we'll have to see what that does. And we have the anchor. I'm going to pull off these acrylic pieces just in, so they don't get in the way, but these little steering wheel here that comes off and then a little string wheel here that comes off. And then we have this little hub here, but you can hear there's something in there. And so I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna hold on to that for right now, just in case. Okay, so, and I got a flashlight here just in case we can't see things very well, because right here you can see, for instance, there's like some pieces down, stuck down in there. Uh, you can see there's like a little, well, that's really bright. <laughs> Jeez. There you go. Maybe I like uh, use my hand to like mask it a little. There you go. How's that? You can see like there's a little acrylic piece in there. And then there's like a little uh, wooden piece there. Let me look at these other places really quick. All right. So flashlight never works for you guys. It always works for me though, so I can see. But anyway... I think where I'm gonna start is this little turny wheel thing here. Can you guys see that right there? Let me get the light on that, maybe that'll help. Yeah, see that, there's like a wheel. Oh, it's so, so bright there, if I back up a little bit. <laughs> there we go, all right, that didn't work very well. All right, so I'm gonna just turn it and see what happens. It goes, it doesn't go very far left and right or up and down or whatever you want to call it, left and right, back and forth. Goes a little bit to the side and then a little bit to the side, but then that's about it. Okay. We've got, looks like there's a trap door of some sort here, and then this might come out as well, and this might come out. So there's all sorts of potential. Oh, all right, well, this comes straight up. All right. I don't know if this feeds into anything else, but we'll put this over here. Okay, so let's see. Oh, there he goes. That kind of, there's like a little click that happened there. I don't know what that did. And this is quite heavy, guys. I got it. I don't know how heavy it is, but it is quite heavy. Maybe I'll weigh it <laughs> and show you guys. But let's see. Maybe this can be used as a magnet to, okay, that's where it was originally, right? Let's see if we can figure out Okay, there's definitely magnets here. Okay, so that was where this was, right? Right there, no, nope, that was over here. Like that. So what was here? What was that here? Oh, it was this thing right here, okay. So the real question is, how do we get started? Does this come up? Okay. Hmm, so let's see. Tricky, tricky. All right, so I think we got all the acrylic pieces off, so I don't think I'll damage anything if I put it upside down. So let's try seeing if there's any like magnets. Okay, so there seems to be a, like a little step right here in the wood. I'm wondering if like somehow these come apart here and this wheel has something to do with how it comes apart. Well, I'm not feeling any magnets, not any to note. All right, so I'm not sure what that is, but I wonder if, ah, something pushed down with this. There's something spring-loaded. There's something spring-loaded there. Ah, right here. Look at that. A little trap door. All right, we are off. All right, so here we have, looks like a little 
like you're supposed to construct it into a die or something. I don't know, these are both those three, so let's see. Let's see if we can get this out now. It's like, it looks like a little, ah, look at that. How cool is that, guys? It's like a little burr puzzle or soma cube or something. Ah, but the question, oh boy, I am not good at these. <laughs> so this could take a while, but that is so cool. It's just sitting right in there. So cool. All right, so I guess that's the clue here is that you have two number threes and you're supposed to have them um, next to each other, I guess. And so let's see, there's threes on here. I see three right there. And that's it. it, must be inside. So I'm guessing we have to take this apart and find a way to get those threes next to each other. And so let me see if I can figure out how to get this apart. All right, so we can see there's all sorts of little symbols in here. There's little squigglies, there's hexagons, or pentagons, I'm sorry. There's little H's, there's letters. Uh, there's west, it looks like there's west, south. It looks like there's east, west, north, south. I'm seeing a lot of that, a lot of those symbols. And then we got the three right here. So that's the other one of the threes. So there's a three there, although I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. So there's a little notch, if you look right there, there's a little notch between the three. So I'm wondering if that's what these little notches here are. So that would mean that I have to get, uh, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do there. So I'm not sure if that's, these are on the inside or the outside. And if it's on the outside, it's a lot more difficult to do that because I got to find one that has, that doesn't make any sense. So that must mean it has to be on the inside, okay. Well, let's continue. There's a bit of a turning interlocking cube thing going on here because you can see like right here, you can turn these pieces and that's probably part of the way in which I'm gonna solve this. Ah, okay, got one piece out. Not sure if that's a good thing or not, but we did it. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get any others out. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm supposed to take this apart, but if I'm not, I'm in trouble because this is going to be a beast to reset. There's definitely different whole numbers. There's a five there, and that was a... See, that's a five also, but it's, it's not the same. There's a four, but obviously there's something we have to decode here. Because I don't think this has to do with anything like a, a die or anything. I think it just has to do with how to re-put it back together. And maybe there's a specific... Ah, got another piece out. Cool. All right. It's happening, guys. It's happening. What's happening? I can't tell you, but something is happening. <laughs> there, there we go. Now we can get that out. All right, three more to go, I think. All right, so down to two pieces now. Not sure how I got that one out, but okay, all done. <laughs> all right, so now what do I do? <laughs> all right, so somehow we have to do that where it says there's those threes together, so let's find, make sure there's only two of those. Right there, okay, there's one three. Right there. Okay, I only see two of them, so that's good. So that means we gotta get those notches together, which means like this, right? If we want the notches together, wait. Is that right? I think that's right. Oh, wait a second here. These are diagonal. Are there diagonal ones on here? It's 
So I don't really understand because these markings are everywhere. <laughs> Beno, let's see, is there something I'm missing here? Let's see if I can, maybe there's a magnet hidden in here. You can see that there's a little slot there. You see that? Right there, it's a little slot. So I, I played around for a while with uh, these cubes and I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with these. However, it looks like we're supposed to match them up. And so I did notice that when I match up, so for instance, when you take these cubes, if you match these two up here, you can see that these are exactly, uh, it's not a mirror image. So you're not trying to get a mirror image. You're trying to get the exact same thing in this little notch here uh, is in the middle there. You can see that there's two notches there. So that's where it lines up. And then if you look around, you can see that for instance here, it has a, let's see if I can do that. So you can see it has a triangle associated with SE. And since these are N and E and S, uh, actually I'm trying to see if there's any W's. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and there's some W's. So it's Northeast, Southwest. It's pretty uh, clear that if we're looking at something like this, it's gonna be tied into this somehow by this. Now the real question is, what are these symbols? Because these symbols here are nothing like those. These are like pictograph, like hieroglyphics of pirate stuff. And then these are like triangles and circles and such. So I kind of gave up on that for a second. I'm gonna put that aside. And I'm just gonna fool around with the ship to see if there's anything else I can pull off there. And notice that this goes back and forth. So something has to do with this. I don't know what it has to do with that, but I also realized that in this little cavity here, I don't know if you all can see, but there's a little slit uh, on the side there. Let me see if I can put a little bit of light on there. Can you see that? So there's like a little slit there. And that, I think, uh, is a clue of something. We gotta get a key or something that goes into there. And then, uh, let's see, I'm not sure how to, what this is gonna do with anything, because I play with this back and forth and it only goes back and forth a certain way. So I'm wondering if maybe, like some, oh, here we go. So this lifts off, there's like a button there. The button doesn't do anything. At least it not gently pushing it, so I'm not gonna force it. So just another panel. I don't think that you need to use this for anything. It's too big, it's too thick to fit in this slot here. It needs to be about half as big. So I'll put that over there with the rest of these panels. And, oh, maybe this one lifts off too. Yep, there you go. I knew that I saw some things under there. Ah, look, and it looks like a little key uh, with a starfish. <laughs> and not sure exactly how this would work, but there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six little things there, and then five there. I don't know if that comes into play. Again, I think this is just another panel, stick that there. And we got this little guy. I have no clue what this farmer has to do with anything. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's on the ship going to the new world or something, I don't know. But isn't that the farmer from the windmill puzzle? I think it is. I don't know if he's just making a cameo or what. I'm gonna stick him there because it says in instructions, don't use the acrylic pieces for uh, tools. So, I'm wondering if this button has anything to do with that there. And, oh, there's also a slit right here. Let's see if we can show that. See that? There's a slit right there. And that looks like that's probably the size of our key. I don't know if it matters. I'm gonna put that in there. Push. What are they doing? Oh. Here we go. Okay. So this looks like a clue of sorts. That's pretty.
pretty cool. So I'm not sure what that means. Is it this? No, I don't think so. Anyhow, let's put that aside. I'm gonna leave that here because that looks like it's a clue. And then there's some stuff in there. Oh. Oh, they're little like, uh, key oh, and then another key came out. All right, so we got a key. This one has three on this starfish thingy and then four here. So that's interesting that there seems to always be one less spoke there than there. I don't know if that means anything, but keep the keys there. And then we got these little like, ah, so this must be, let's see, is there, there's nine squares there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so it must be that we had to lay these out in a three by three somehow and match them up which we could pr probably try to do <laughs> manually. Ah, here is the symbols that were on these. So, I don't know what this is, but, so if this is like triangle southeast, does that, let's see, where's the triangle? Here's the triangle. Does that mean I would put it, if this is north, would I put it here? And so the triangle would go there. Okay. And what does that even mean? Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to start systematically trying to see if we can find matching these numbers with uh, the symbols. So we'll start, I guess, with this little dot here is one, see if we can find another one that matches that. And we'll go from there. So I have no clue how to interpret all this. So I don't know if the keys somehow. Oh, I never used this. Maybe this, ah, oh, this might go into this slot here. Let's see if I can find it now. Ah, ah, I can't believe I missed that. Ah, okay, what is this? Another piece? No, it's too small. Ah, so where's that other one? So this must mean that this is the center piece. Well, that's gonna make it a little bit easier. That is this one. So that would mean that this, this one would be here because that one has to be in the middle. Ah, and then we got a little pirate. That, that's more appropriate, I think, for the puzzle, don't you guys think? <laughs> I'm not sure what the farmer's doing here, but let's see if they'll hang out together. All right, so now that I'm, now that I'm uh, finding stuff, I'm wondering what else I'm missing. Like, what else comes out? <laughs> oh, the button moves now. Oh, this, it, kick, it causes this little thing to kick out. I have no clue why that's important. Let's see, I'm gonna start feeling around to see if there's any other keyholes or something. Ooh, this wiggled. Oh, oh, the stairs come out. I don't think these do anything. I'm just gonna put those there. But, oh, the stairs come out. Okay, this thing is wiggly now. So, must be able to get this out somehow. Yeah, let's put this aside. This is just a panel, I think, so I'm gonna put this aside. I'll put this over here for now. All right, so. Wonder if it has anything to do with this wheel. Ah, bed shoes, yeah. Uh, look, it's a maze. That is cool. It's like a little maze, so we we'll have to use this wheel to like navigate. 
through this maze. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's a very difficult maze. Ah! <laughs> so that wasn't too bad. So we can see their little maze. So it's not that hard of a maze, but you got a, little, a few traps in here which you have to like find your way out of. All right, it's pretty cool. Nothing really, I don't know if this is gonna help us other than next steps, because I know, oh, you can see right here, there's the pin right there that the maze was using with this wheel. I don't know if the wheel comes out. Not sure, but this was wiggly. So, ah, there we go. Another hidden passage with, what the heck is this? Is this like a, oh my gosh, it's like a whole nother puzzle box. That is freaking cool. Oh boy. It's kind of weighty. I don't know what's in there, but uh, it looks like we have Morse code on the side here. So it looks like maybe start here and then we've got to go to here to X finds the spot or it looks like they're different. So I think I'm pretty sure this is Morse code because it's dot dash dash. I'm wondering though, yeah, this is definitely Morse code. The real question is, because I don't know Morse code off the top of my head. So I'm wondering, should I look it up on my phone? Am I allowed to do that? Let's see if there's any rules about that on here. No? All right, so let's see what else is in here. Let's see if I can find any more. Oh, I already found something. Let's see. There's like a little hole down there, see it? Right there, there's a hole. And then there's a little other place where the key can go in there. And then it looks like there's another hole over there. All right, so let's stick stuff in those places. <laughs> so let's see if this key can go in. Ah, it's a little bit hard to get my fingers into. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Another secret passage with a dinghy. I am not sure how this is helping us, but we'll put that with those guys. And then I don't see anything here. It's just a place to put the dinghy, I guess. Seems kind of odd to have a compartment just for that, but all right, so I saw little holes, so let's maybe try to put stuff in those. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get this into this hole here because this is kind of long. How about this one here? There we go. Ah, I can get in that one. Ah, and it pulls out this thing from the back there. And we have, and this is where it says a flying Dutchman or Dutchman. And then we got a parrot. You got to have a parrot if you're going to have pirates. So he gets to hang out with them as well. Um, let's see, let's see if there's anything else. So I do see that there's a hole on the top there, but just like the hole um, on the side here, I don't think this is gonna be short enough to get to either of those. So the question is, how do I, how do I, what do I put in there? Is there another shorter one of these that I'm not aware of? <laughs> um, maybe it's in here. Okay, so I am confused. So what do I have to, why do I have to figure this out? <laughs> oh, it's for this. Because there's little symbols there that match the ones on here. So something, it, so we got to match like it looks like, for instance, um, if that matches there, then that means that that line equals the gun. And so the real question is, 
Why do I give a shit? Well, if the line equals the gun, then maybe here the symbol is what I'm supposed to do here. And so that would make sense because I would put like, I would put, um, I don't know. I could pair them by saying like the fish is equal to the parrot and so that's northeast and so I'd put it right there. And then there's a little latch there, which I'm assuming I can use this. And I'm assuming maybe it starts to go down when you get the pairings correct. I don't know. So it's starting to come clear, but oh, you can hear something in there. So I bet you there's a tool in there that I need to move forward. So I wanna put this aside as cool as it is because I have a feeling I'm gonna to need to uh, do something else to figure that out. So I think I need to figure this out first. So let me go feed Tyke. Come here, Tyke. Let's go feed Tyke. Come on. And then we'll be back and try to see if we can finish this. 